But you guys, today we're taking a look at how to disable these Windows features that nobody really needs. These are going to be able to enable some of the older features of Windows 10 in Windows 11 22H2. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. But before that, let's have a word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Cells. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, click on this one and then you can uh, see we'll bit the Buy Now page. Hit the Buy Now button. Put in my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order to get a juicy discount. Once you click apply, it will be reduced down to $16.41. Submit your order and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. So first off, before you make any alterations to the registry, it's always best to create a restore point. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head over to the restore point by typing restore. Great restore point. If you don't have this turned on, then turn it on. Go to your C drive, create a new restore point, call it tweaks, and then create. This way, if you want to revert back to the previous state before you did all these tweaks, then you can do. It's just a bit of a safety net in case you uh, want to go back. If you don't do this, you may forget what you did. And again, after that, uh, you may have problems trying to revert back and it might cause you to have to do a fresh install. So first off, we're going to be removing all of this here on the uh, start menu. This is the dynamic search that Microsoft like to push out to you uh, with some interesting content, as they might uh, call it, but some of it is not interesting at all. So go to Reg Edit in the search box and open up the registry editor. From here, we're going to start off from the very top here uh, and go to H key current user, then go down to software here, open this up, and we're going to come down a bit further to Microsoft. And then we want to come down right down here, all the way down the bottom to where it says Windows. Click on this one here, open this up, and go current version. And then from here, we're just going to go to search settings. This is the one we need to edit. So in the right hand pane, we're going to be uh, creating a new D word 32 bit value. And we're going to call this is dynamic search box enabled. That's what we're going to be putting there. Now you've got two choices either to enable or disable by clicking on this box. It will give you zero, which is to disable. And uh, one would be to enable that feature. We're going to disable uh, that feature there because we don't want it on our machine. So that's that first one done. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So let's click on the search box here. And you can see now that has been removed. You will need to restart your system or restart Explorer. And hopefully that will be resolved and removed from your start menu. So next up, what we're going to do here is we're going to go and do a, another one, which is to do with this one here. When you type in car repair, hairdressers or anything like that inside here, food, it will come up with search results for your local area. If you like this feature, by all means, you can leave this enabled. I personally find it quite intrusive. And if I want to search for something, I will generally go on Google and search for it there. But they've added it in this start menu. And if you want to have this on here, then by all means, leave it alone. I personally don't like it. So I'm going to show you how to remove it in the registry. And uh, this is how you can remove it. So we're going to go back to the registry and go up one to search. We was in search settings. Now we're going to go to search, uh, which is just above it, and then create a new D word 32 bit value and put in this one here. Allow search to use location. This will remove your location from there and it won't find where you are and it will stop that from searching in that location. Disable is zero. Again, enable is one. So obviously we're leaving it disabled with zero. Next is Bing search enabled. This is the next one we need to disable. So we're going to go ahead and put a zero inside here, and this will disable that feature as well. Also, Cortana consent. We want to uh, put one of these D word 32 bit values in here and call it uh, Cortana consent. And uh, what we're going to do here again is leave that as zero. And this will also disable that feature for us. Now, again, you don't have to disable these. If you like those features, by all means, leave them. If you find them useful, I personally don't like them. So I'm just going to remove them. And uh, that is done. So we're going to move up here 
and just basically close this tree off. There we go. Keep it nice and tidy. And we can now close and we can now check this out. So let me go ahead and restart Explorer here by opening up Task Manager. We're going to come all the way down to Explorer here. As you'd see right down the bottom, Windows Explorer, right click and restart. And this will restart the Windows Explorer. And we can now check to see whether that has been removed from the computer. So let's go back to the search box here. And we can now type in here anything we like, like car repair or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and put car repair. And you can see now we're not getting any results. Now, some people may find that, uh, you know, a bit pointless disabling this because they use it. I personally don't search the web from this uh, location, but by all means, leave it on if you wish. So that is now done. Let's move on to the next feature, which I'll show you here. We're going to go back into Reg Edit. And we're going to go in here and we're going to start off in this location here, H key current user, and we're going to make some changes. We're going to go to software, then we're going to go policies, then Microsoft, then Windows. We're going to go in here and that's where we need to be. Inside here, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on here, go new key, and then we're going to add a new key called Explorer. Now inside that new key explorer, we're going to go to the right hand pane and we're going to add a new D word 32 bit value key here. So let's go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do here is add in this one here, which is called, I'll put it on the screen for you, disable search box suggestions. And we're going to get rid of that as well. And that's that done. And again, leaving this as zero will disable that feature. So they are all done. So if you want to enable it, you just put a one in here or if you can delete the key if you wish. But again, that's basically that one taken care of. So that's all of those search uh, features on the start menu taken care of. So next up, we're going to deal with the ribbon here on Windows 11. Quite a few people have asked me to make a video on how to put the Windows uh, 10 uh, ribbon in Windows 11. And that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to go back into uh, here, I'm going to put WinVert and show you we are on version 22H2. And this is the very latest Windows 11 version. So if you do want to change it, then I'll show you basically how to do it. Go to Reg Edit here, open up the registry editor. And we're going to start off with HKey Local Machine. And from here, we're going to go Software. And we're going to come down to where it says Microsoft. Way down here. Come a bit further down to where it says Windows. Open Windows up, and then we can go current version. And we're looking for shell extensions here. So look for shell extensions, and there it is there. And once you're inside shell extensions, we need to open this up. And there should be a folder called Blocked. Inside here, there should be a folder called Blocked. So look for that one. Now inside the Blocked, uh, folder, what you need to do is go to the right hand pane. And if you don't see block there, just add a new key and call it blocked. Then on the right hand pane here, add this key in, uh, just as you see on the screen. I'll leave it in the video description for you if I can, and then paste that in there like so. And then all you need to do is just this is a new string value. And once you've got this done, you can then restart your PC, and that should then put your ribbon back. So let's go ahead and close these trees off here, back to the way they were. Go, one more, yeah, and that's done. Okay, so now we can close off uh, that registry. Now you can install this via registry keys, which I'll try to upload to my site, and you'll be able to download them from there. So you don't have to go in the registry and do that. But basically, if you follow on this video, you should be perfectly fine. And what we need to do now is log out of the computer and log back in, or you can restart the computer, wherever floats your boat. But once that's done, you should see the Windows 10 uh, ribbon up at the top here on Windows 11 22H2. And uh, this is how you can get it back. I think a few people asked me how to do it on the 22H2, because there's a few people saying there's a few issues trying to get it working properly, but that's basically how you can get that working on 22H2.
And because we've now added that ribbon in, it's also fixed the context menu as well. And that means we now have the Windows 10 context menu as well as the uh, the actual uh, ribbon up the top there. So if you want to keep the original context menu and ribbon, then don't do that tweak. But basically that tweak will resolve that issue for you and you'll be able to have the Windows 10 ribbon on Windows 11 uh, 22H2 and also the context menu. I think they're a must have uh, for me anyway on Windows 11 and it saves you installing any software. Anyway, that's how you could disable annoying Windows features that you don't want on Windows 11 22H2. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. And a special shout out goes to RTX Brody. We've got Edward Kelly, also Albert Hewson, Ron Hicks, Celtic Lad, PC Repair Tech, Vitality, Phil's Computer Repair, Big Daddy, also, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony. Thanks for the support, guys. I really do appreciate it. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.